Friends, good morning. Welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Scholastica. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, as we are gathered today to celebrate this Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and failures and ask God to grant us pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we, as we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord gave, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil. But a stream was welling up out of the earth, and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew it and blew into his nostrils the breath of life and so man became a living being then the lord god planted a garden in eden in the east and he placed there the man whom he had formed out of the ground the lord god made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. 
When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from, outs from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Although it may not seem so now, our gospel passage today, says William Barclay, was the most revolutionary passage in the New Testament when it was first spoken. Jesus has been arguing, if you would remember, with the legal experts about the different aspects of the traditional law. He has shown the irrelevance of the elaborate hand washings, but today, he says something more startling yet. Yeah. He declares, Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. As we all know by now, the book of Leviticus has a long list of animals that are considered unclean, and they may not be used for food. And the Jews took this very, very seriously. One incident in Maccabean times, in the Fort Maccabees, can tell us how seriously they took this. It tells the story of a widow and her seven sons. It was demanded that they should eat swine's flesh, but they refused. The first had his tongue cut out, the ends of his limbs cut off, and he was then roasted alive in a pan. The second had his hair and the skin of his skull torn off. One by one, they were tortured to death, while their aged mother looked on and cheered them on. They died rather than eat meat, which to them was unclean. And so it is in the face of this that Jesus made his revolutionary statement that nothing that goes into a man can make him unclean. He was wiping out at one stroke the loss for which, G for, the, for which the Jews had suffered and died. So no wonder the disciples were amazed. But I think that really the point of Jesus today is for us to look into ourselves and see how we are defiled by the things that we keep in our hearts and that come out of our lips. From within the man come evil thoughts, unchastity, death, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these things come from within. And when we keep them in our hearts, and they come out of our lips. These are the things that defile us, that make us unclean. It is truly a terrible list which Jesus cites of the things that come from the human heart. When we examine it, a shudder surely passes over us. Nonetheless, it is a summons, not to a fastidious shrinking from such things, but really to an honest self-examination, honest examination of our own hearts. What is the evil that makes you unclean? Is it envy? Is it jealousy? Is it pride? Is it unforgiveness? Come to think of it, when we have pride in our hearts, that provokes us to compete with others. That provokes us to seek for affirmation and appreciation from people for what we do. So Jesus is right. 
what you hold in your heart really makes you unclean. What you allow to linger in your hearts and in your thoughts, they come out of your lips and they make you unclean. I was rereading the whole uh, Genesis uh, book last night and I found this passage. When Cain was jealous of his brother Abel, God warned him to guard his heart. He says, Sin is couching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. Master oneself. Master your desires. Master your tendencies. Friends, sin has tainted our human hearts. Now is the time to recover our original goodness. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we place our world and our church under, under the protection of Jesus, the fullness of all that is good. May the warnings which Pope Francis gives in his teaching about the reality of Satan's influence in the world be taken seriously by us all, so that our trust is always in the goodness of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Holy Spirit empower us with the gift of discernment so that when faced with life's choices, we will choose what is good and best and resist every temptation of Satan to choose what is evil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our leaders hold firm to belief in the sanctity of human life and so stand by the right to life of every unborn child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May single women and men feel affirmed in their place in the church, and may married people along with their families contribute also to the building up of the kingdom of God among this generation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts, we offer to the Lord all our prayers and petitions. Heavenly God, you are the rock who saves us, and with joy we kneel before your throne, confident in your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart. May you be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Friends, thank you very much for joining us in this celebration. See you in a bit for the distribution of communion. Enjoy the rest of your day and you stay safe. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you and your loved ones. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Now go proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.